Good evening. They came to mourn the man to say farewell to a songwriter who is and who will always be a golden thread in the artistic fabric of Canada. Whether it was conveying the pain of heartbreak or his ability to relay historical events, he did it through music. Now, Gordon Lightfoot shined as one of the best. It's not surprising people took the opportunity today to say so long. Now, CTV's Christian Davino has been in Aurelia for most of the day, and he joins us live now with more. Christian, what can you tell us? Alessandra, it's been raining quite honestly all day, but that hasn't deterred anyone from coming here to uh, Gordon Lightfoot's boyhood church to pay their respects. It's been a continuous flow of about a thousand people coming into the church all day to say goodbye to the folk music icon. At memorials set up throughout Aurelia, the flow of flowers continue to grow in the place he once called home. A fitting send-off for a hero who meant the world to all Canadians. And we, he sang a song called Lake Kuchiching, which is uh, the, the nation's lake out here. So we usually come around and put some tobacco down for him uh, in honor of the native community. So. The former chief among the thousands lining up to say goodbye to the man who brought light stories of indigenous culture. You know, people don't know about those unless people like him, you know, bring them out. And so that's why his music is so important and that's why I appreciate him. The church bells ringing 30 times for the Edmund Fitzgerald singer marking the 29 crew members who lost their lives aboard the ship and the 30th in honor of Lightfoot. Actually, one of the pictures I sent to him of the Fitzgerald is hanging on his wall in his home. We talked for about five minutes. He was shocked. He sent me a very nice letter, and uh, it's on my wall at home. So the Fitzgerald's just been a big part of my life. A family overcome by emotions as the casket is taken inside. Adorned with roses atop, pictures bringing back the memories. Uh, he was very humble, and he always cared about other people. He was very engaging, uh, he was very caring, and he, had, he really had time for everyone. A man who took much of the world by storm, always carrying Aurelia close to his heart. Because it's a great place to be, and I've, good Lord, I've canoed all over the whole North Country here. He's number one, he's at the top. I mean, he was a prolific songwriter. When you look at his catalog of music, it's unbelievable. And as time caught up with the 84-year-old, he found resolve within himself. The last words uh, to me were, Burn, we had a great ride, and, uh, and I'm ready to go. He really, I really think he felt he was ready to go. And as his Edmund Fitzgerald states, So too does the legend of Aurelia's favorite son. And uh, Alessandra, tomorrow the family will lay Gordon Lightfoot to rest in a private ceremony where he will then be buried alongside his mother and father, just like Gordon always wanted. Reporting in Aurelia. Christian Davino, CTV News. Back okay. to you. Thank you, Christian. What an icon.